Hello, welcome to another video. Today we'll be taking a five minute look at this. It's the new Hoop Bivy from Go Outdoors, the OEX Salamander. I think this is going to be a very, very popular bit of kit. So we'll be setting it up in the garden, filling it with some kit for you, talking to you guys through my experience with it. And there is just the one video on YouTube of this at the moment, so I thought ideal time really to show people with it just going online on the Go Outdoors website. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. I do think a lot of thought has been put into the design by OEX and the Salamander Bivy. At the bottom there are two short poles with a peg out point attached into both the top and the bottom. The pegs are a lot chunkier than the ones I've had with my OEX tent and the pole is 7mm alloy. It sits in a sleeve which looks pretty durable, pretty reinforced, but all of this is going to add to the weight. I'd be interested to see what the pegs weighed alone. I'm sure the ultralight campers amongst you could swap those out and make the kit a little bit lighter. My other two options being the OEX Fox 2 tent and the Hilleberg Solo. Both of those are over a kilo heavier and I do have plans to use this to do things like the coastal path or a quick overnight that may be midweek up on top of Penavan. The tall pitch and low profile means hopefully it wouldn't catch much wind on the summit anyway. So I can tuck this down somewhere and wake up to a beautiful view in the morning. Once I go around and make a few adjustments, you can see it actually does pitch really taut. There's a flap at the bottom which allows for extra airflow and a vent. This guy's out too. All adding to how taut the pitch goes. The one thing I can't actually remember is if the guy that goes off the front is something I added myself or came already with the bivy. There are also two points that I haven't pegged out and those are just at the bottom of the door. But now it's up, here's a walk around. And underneath the flap at the bottom, which I'll show you now, is a six inch vent that allows for the air to flow through in the night. And my two experiences camping in the garden in this thing, I've not had any condensation as yet. One was a warm spring evening, and the other was actually a windy and wet night. And both times I woke up bone dry. I can honestly say though, when I get in this thing, I really don't feel claustrophobic. The sleeping mat fits in well, which is 180 centimeters, and the rucksack I'll add in a sec is 35 liters. And I could use that rucksack to take this thing out, especially with just needing to add a stove, sleeping bag, and so on. There'd be plenty of room for everything I needed. I'll just get in and show you. I think in summer this is how I'd sleep. I wouldn't really see the need to add the second door down. You don't really get the views then if you wake up in the night. I'd like to look up and see the stars or obviously have a burning sky to wake me up in the morning. I should probably mention as well, I'm 5 foot 10 for reference. Quite big. <laughs> this is all of the kit I'll be taking with the bivy. It's packed and ready for the day we're allowed back out camping again. And I hope everyone is staying safe and well in lockdown. The next camp after lockdown really is going to be something special. I'm going to film it. I've got something really good in mind. But hope to see you all again soon. And like I say, stay safe.